Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Words. Today I am going to share what is build and design pattern with very easy code example. So let's move ahead to check out the agenda, what points I am going to cover in this session, what is builder design pattern under creation design pattern and what are the use cases of builder design pattern, its code coverage and its advantages. And if you have basic knowledge of OOPs concepts and OOP pillars, then it will be a kickoff walk for you. So let's move ahead without wasting time to check out what creation pattern is. Creation design pattern deals with object creation mechanism. It especially focuses on how the objects are created and utilized in an application. Creation design pattern solves the problem by somehow controlling the object creation. So it means we are completely managing how objects are created under creational design pattern. So there are total five design patterns that comes under creational and first three we have already covered abstract, factory and singleton. So today we will cover builder design pattern. Okay, so let's move ahead a step further to check out the things. Let's go by definition first. According to the definition, builder design pattern separate or you can say isolate the construction of a complex object from its representation so that the same construction process can create different representations. Last line may be confusing, but don't worry, I will explain this thing with very easy example. So according to the concept, the building pattern is useful for creating complex objects that have multiple parts. The creation process of an object should be independent of these parts. In other words, you can say the construction process does not care how these parts are assembled okay and the complex object being constructed is represented by aggregation of one or more parts it means sometimes we are using two parts sometimes we are using more than two parts so that kind of aggregation is there i know the best way is to explain this through an example but let's first understand what example we are going to discuss okay so you can see in this example here we have a product which is a complex object under consideration this is sub this is our final product okay so you can see there is a concrete builder which is inheriting all the parts of this builder okay and director is responsible for creating the final object using builder interface okay so this is my director class and this is my builder interface and concrete builder is implementing this builder and it is also responsible for finally generating the end product okay and between director and product there is a many operations are going on but director is not directly involved in this operation okay so let's move ahead further just go a step deeper so if I take an example from the director let's suppose it contains one method which is construct okay and then it is dealing with the abstract builder that contains build parts okay and when we are using parts let's consider we are talking about car or motorcycle okay so when we are dealing with parts so you can see there are three builder builder one two and three so let's read out the very very important point only as shown in the figure there is the abstraction of builder in the form of abstract builder class this class defines the build part method is supposed to create part of the complex object under creation okay we are considering this is a complex object one the abstract builder is inherited by three builders you, we can see builder one two and three okay these are the uh, different parts that we want to develop or these can be three different type of product that we want to achieve each of the builder class implements build part okay this is the build part it means it is implemented by every builder okay thus each concrete builder class is responsible for creating the part it is assigned to build okay if i take more explanation from this example point of view the builder process of all the three builder classes finally arrived at a finished product yes all three finally making a final product and the product is the complex object constructed by builder yeah that's very uh, clear from this example the process of constructing the product is ordered by often called director okay so this diamond symbol says this director is initiating the abstract builder build parts and then build parts is doing all the complex stuff or creating the final product 
Thus, the director class initiate the product construction process. I hope this is clear now. So what actually the class diagram will look like if we implement. So this is our director. Okay, it contains one method construct and it is our iBuilder interface. You can use abstract class as well if you want to have some common implementation and it contains different part of the product. Let's take example of car. Okay, so it contains add headlight, body, and operation, start operation and all. We will see all these things in Visual Studio. So there are two concrete builders in the middle, motorcycle and car. Okay, it contains all these methods implementation. And at last we have product. Let's switch to Visual Studio to see all these things in action. This is my Visual Studio and this is the same solution that I was using in my all previous design pattern series. And this is ASP.NET Core Web Application. Okay, and in that I have created separate folder for separate design pattern. So to, we will focus on build a design pattern only. As you can see, I have already implemented important piece of code. So it will be easy for us to implement. We will focus only what are the important parts. So we will focus on practical example. So we have already seen this class diagram example. Okay, but let's go through one by one. So this is our director class. Okay, and you can see this director class contains one builder of type iBuilder interface okay and you can see it contains this class contains one method which is construct and it is receiving a builder reference type variable it is iBuilder reference type variable okay and yes we know in iBuilder let's let me show you iBuilder contains these six methods including start build add and operation and get vehicle okay we are not implementing this iBuilder we are just calling all these methods with the help of iBuilder type reference variable okay so we are assigning this iBuilder variable to this iBuilder and they, then we are calling all these methods very simple okay so it contains these six operations okay and five of them we are calling from director only okay for construction okay we are not returning the product anymore from this builder in director now next this is our concrete builder okay so you can see we are implementing this is our car builder we are implementing i builder interface and we know interface contains six members so in constructor what we are doing we are just setting its brand name what kind of brand we want to use to make this car okay and we can see in setup operation we are simply adding in product edge and this is the string format that we are using so now you must be thinking what product is let me show you select product hit f12 so you can see what product is doing in product we have one list type variable okay so we can contain all the operation output that we are getting okay and in constructor of this product we are simply initiating this list of string so you can contain any list of like you can use linked list as well you can use array list as well but for example we are using list of string okay so we are initiating the string and then we are calling the add method from this car concrete builder and everything that we are receiving as an input in, in add method we are just appending in this list okay and when we will call this show method we are doing simply iterating each element which is there in part okay and just writing to the response with the help of HTTP context this is one of the way to write onto the response simply okay and from here we are printing product completed as below and all the parts will be written with the help of this part okay so let's go back to a concrete builder which is car okay and here we are calling product dot add so this string will be added okay and similar and similarly build body so in real life example, definitely you will perform many operation here that what you want to do then at the end you can add the result in this product. So we are following step by step. We are building body. We are adding wheels just applying all these wheel operation applying all the headlight operations. Okay. And if you want to perform any action at the end of the operation, you can mention here as well. Okay. And at the end you can see this car is implementing iBuilder so that's why we are giving implementation for this product at the end it will return the product instance of from this car same thing we are doing with this motorcycle example 
this is our concrete builder okay it is also implementing i builder steps will be same creating two private variables brand name and product okay initiating the product and setting the brand name in constructor okay and setting all the operations performing what actually we want to do insert wheel add headlight and end operation and at the end it is returning the instance of it okay so we have covered director builder interface car motorcycle these are the concrete builders we have covered how product is behaving and what actually it is doing okay and at the end how we will cover all these operations okay so this is simple sp.net core example let me expand this one so these all are the commented area i mean if you want to use any of the existing pattern you just comment the reason and just uncomment the one that you want to learn okay so it contains all observer strategy adapter okay let me come back to focus on this simply we can see from the using statement we are using builder pattern okay so let me minimize it and go back to the way we are calling okay simply we are writing onto the response it's builder design pattern demo so very first thing so these steps are very very important give me your focus so first we are creating instance of director class okay that's not an issue then after creating the instance we are not calling its method which is constructs okay then we are creating i builder type reference variable and in that we are assigning new instance of car then we are creating one more instance of i builder in that we are assigning motorcycle instance we are passing ford and we are passing honda okay so this is my car builder this is my motorcycle builder then we want to perform the making of car at this point of moment we are calling director dot construct okay so we are calling director dot construct so this will perform all these actions and everything will be added inside the product list okay let's go back to the start of file and now finally we are calling car builder dot get vehicle okay so what it will return the product from the car builder this is my car builder it will return the product it contains every information okay and finally we will call the car product dot show it means when we will call the show so there will be iteration will be there okay and it will display all the parts which are added in this final product okay i hope it is clear now similarly we are making a motorcycle builder this is the instance of it and we are calling the construct it means everything is initialized and then we are creating a motorcycle object okay and getting the instance from get vehicle of motorcycle builder and then we are calling show okay so let's see how these things are working in action let me run the solution to see the output you can see now beautiful this is the expected output we are saying product completed as car model name ford this is a body of a car four wheels are added two headlights are added and this is for our motorcycle example product completed as blue motorcycle model name honda this is a body of a motorcycle two wheels are added one headlights are added I hope it is helpful for you. Let me go back to the presentation. I hope that example is clear enough. Let's move ahead to cover very important question and answer that you might be thinking. What are the key advantages of using builder design pattern? So you direct the builder to build the objects step by step and you promote encapsulation by hiding the details of the complex construction process that we have already seen. The director can retrieve the final product from the builder when the whole constructor is over. Okay, using this pattern, the same construction process can also produce different products. We have seen for car, we have seen for motorcycle, so you can generate other products as well. What are the drawback associated? So it is not suitable if you want to deal with mutable objects. Mutable means which can be modified later stage in an application. You may need to duplicate some portion of the code. These duplication may have significant impact in some context. To create more products, you need to create more concrete builders. Okay, so one more question you can think: Can we use abstract class instead of interface? Yes, it is completely possible. You could use an abstract class instead of an interface in this example. If you have any question, any suggestion, you can leave as a comment. I will reply on that as soon as possible. Don't forget to provide your feedback. That's the only inspiration for me to create such videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video with some new learning. Till then, bye bye.